thought our guys did a tremendous job on Saturday night in a uh, great environment uh, there at Memorial Coliseum and uh, playing against a very good uh, Vanderbilt basketball team. And uh, I thought it was fitting and a great opportunity for us going into a um, very tough home game against one of the top teams in the country uh, in Kentucky. Uh, I thought uh, the Vandy game served a purpose for us on both ends of the floor what we're able to do offensively uh, against a very tough defensive-minded basketball team. And you look at their numbers, what they've been able to do all year. And defensively, I thought we did an excellent job against a very efficient uh, basketball team on the offensive end of the floor. And I think it's great for us because of the confidence we will have hopefully going into the game on Tuesday. I thought uh, all of our guys, uh, Although Ben Simmons had a tremendous game, I thought it was a great team effort uh, by all of our guys in the way that they played uh, from start to finish, in the way that they were able to finish the game, uh, making good defensive stops and, and uh, making plays on the offensive end in terms of executing. Johnny, you're getting stuff from different guys offensively. What do you feel like you need to get from Antonio, Brandon, a combination of those two on a regular basis? Well, I can tell you, I, Really pleased with how the effort Antonio Blakeney uh, has made uh, from day one uh, to the other night and what he's been able to do on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, he's done a great job in terms of playing with a great deal of intensity, understanding more con about concepts and what we're asking him to do, and uh, it has really helped us on the floor. We know that he came in a tremendous uh, score and we feel as though that that will come. Uh, he did that in the beginning of the year, made plays for us. We just think it's a matter of time before he gets back into the offensive flow. But uh, in the meantime, we think he's really growing as a offensive player. He and Brandon obviously have been injured. He and that has slowing him a bit. Uh, but we're excited uh, when he gets back healthy, what he'll be able to provide for us as well. Antonio driving on the dribble the other day, is that something that you want him to do more often, especially if his shot's not there every night? Well, that's what he actually really uh, uh, was one of the reasons he performed at such a high level in high school. He wasn't just a jump shooter. Uh, he drove the ball to the basket. He had a great mid-range game. I think when you have the addition of our other guys that are on our team, he may be have to pick and choose the areas where he's going to have an opportunity to excel. And uh, if we've got our post guys in there, be it Elbert and those guys man in the block, there's no driving room for him in there. So now we have to sell mid ranger for his jumpers. But uh, he had a, uh, a different assortment of ways that he really scored. And now it's kind of limited because uh, of the way that we play.